What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the South Side. I have here a Me Want professional customization just for you steering wrap kit because my Alcantara ZHP wheel has seen some better days and it's time to give it some new clothes. So let's see what we got in the box. Okay. So in the box, you will receive this sleeve of material. Um, yeah, I have no idea how to put this on. So that's what this video is going to be. We have these instructions, which honestly are, um, we'll just say they're lacking. <laughs> Here you go, just in case you wanted to pause it and see what's in it we don't need that and here are the goodies double sided tape uh, we may or may not use that I'm not sure yet of course you have thread thread and the needle I thought they had uh, pre-threaded it through the needle but they didn't you have a thimble protection and you have a tucking tool but since we already took the cover off of our steering wheel we don't have to worry about that If you look on the inside of the material here, you will see an F and a B. In English, that stands for F. I mean, <laughs> obviously. In English, that stands for front and back. So now we will take our steering wheel cover and make sure that the F points toward the front and the B points toward the back. Okay, now we're going to slip the steering wheel cover over the steering wheel. Note the two tabs here, and also the tab at the bottom. When putting the cover on, start from the bottom, because your bottom will be how you align the steering wheel cover. And you can see how the bottom simply aligns to the bottom of the spoke here. So once you get that alignment there, Simply go along the edges and try to keep everything in place while you stretch this material across. You don't want to pull on it too hard. Just go to different sections and pull up. You'll feel it kind of slide over the slide over the rim of the steering wheel. And there it is. For the most part. Now that the steering wheel cover is on and centered, you want to get it balanced from front to back. And what I mean by balanced is you can see how this part is shorter than the part in the back. We want to roll over the front so that it's even with the back. And that's pretty easy. Simply pull on the top side and squeeze all around the steering wheel. When you squeeze it, I can get when you squeeze this you want to get this slot centered with the stitching on the steering wheel so take however long you need to to get this thing centered because you only want to do this once if you get this out of line and your stitching is crooked you're gonna be upset at yourself so take the time 
do it right do it multiple times if you have to this is the part that you don't want to mess up because you can't go back okay now our steering wheel is it's pretty centered I'm pleased with it I'm pleased with it um, I know that um, on the BMW Selena channel she had an issue with the front here lining up with the back so we want to make sure that ours can line up I think it will once we start stitching and I think it should be okay 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 so now you want to grab your needle and thread it's a pretty big eye on the needle so you should have no problems threading it okay once you've threaded the needle you're gonna go ahead and tie a knot by looping it in the eye again like that there we go so you can see the loop there and then simply take the end here and put it back through the loop and tighten it so now you're going to have a single thread instead of a double thread and make sure you cut a good amount of length but not too much I guess I'm going to do about um, I don't know what is this like six feet so I'm going to cut about six feet six to eight feet of uh, thread here and you want to do the same style knot at the end of your thread it should it should focus and it should look like that and then you're going to want to do another one but don't tie this one all the way leave a little bit hanging we're going to use that for later once you have your two knots you're going to go to the inner flap of the steering wheel cover and you should see this little string section here sorry for the poor lighting so what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick your needle under the string and it should come out like that just go ahead and pull it all the way through I have a lot of string here I may have used too much. Definitely. <laughs> okay. So now, when you reach the end of the string and your loop is showing, you're going to take your needle, stick it back through the loop. And feed all your string Make sure it's tight and close. Feed all your string through. And tighten it up. Take your scissors, cut off the excess. It should be nice and tight, it's not going anywhere. Then you're gonna take your needle and you're gonna stick it through the hole here. Try not to stab yourself. Where the first stitching is. Not sure if you guys can see that. Actually you can. See how it's coming out of the exact hole? I'm not poking a new hole in the leather, I'm going through an existing hole. And you can go ahead and pull your needle through. And this is the start of our first thread. Uh oh. 
try not to make another knot. And that is the start of our first thread. Now you're going to turn your steering wheel over. So the first loop on the other side, go ahead and stick your needle under there and pull it all the way through. Don't cut as much thread as I did, it's not necessary. But it's my first time. So once you got the first thread through, go back to the other side and stick it through the first thread on the opposite side. You now have your first thread. And just keep repeating that for each for each loop in the wheel. And here you can make your adjustments to your wheel as necessary. And I can see my stitching is going to be a little off, so I'm going to adjust it here. And you do not want to skip a loop here. When you're close to the edge of the wheel, you want to make sure you go through every loop. Try not to stab yourself. It's annoying. Okay, so I'm done, almost done with this part of the steering wheel. Let me show you what I did here. Toward this side, I did not skip any loops. But as I continued down, you can see I skipped some loops in the um, seam right here. I did not skip any loops, but once I broke out of the seam area here, I started skipping loops again. And all the way up until I reached the steering wheel, um, this part of the steering wheel here. I have not terminated it yet, so let me show you guys how to do that. So to terminate the end of the thread, or to pretty much you're just tying a knot, another knot at the back of this uh, red thread here gonna stick your needle through the hole that the red thread has gone in similar to how we started go ahead and pull all your thread through do not use as much thread sorry do not use as much thread as I did because it becomes more of a hassle than anything okay gonna pull it tight you can kind of see my seam opened up a little there, but it's under the steering wheel, so I'm okay with that. Take your needle. Wrap it about three times around the needle. One, two, three. Slide your loops down. I lost my threads. One, two, three. It's helpful if you have the steering wheel clamped to something. But slide your loops close to the thread that you're ending. Remember to keep pulling it tight. Not sure if you guys can see that. Once you have your threads there, pull your needle through. Pull all your thread. and you should not have a knot. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Anyway, that's the technique and you'll eventually come up with a knot. So this terminates the end of the thread 
it should be a little bit closer but I guess I'm okay with it being right there I don't think it's going anywhere so I'm just gonna cut it and you can just go ahead and tuck it under and we are done it's not too bad you can kind of see it's um, slanted toward that side but it's cool I'm happy with it surprisingly I kind of straightened it up a little bit so now it's, it's perfect enough yo that's kind of hot all right, let's finish up the whole steering wheel. I showed you guys all the techniques and I'm going to apply them to my steering wheel and I'll show you the results. And a few hours later, our steering wheel is done. It took maybe two, two and a half hours. Give you guys a good stitching. Also, when you get to the humps here, you want to, um, not skip any threads so I did one two three four five six seven eight nine I did a few and then I went back to skipping and then of course at the seam I didn't skip any then I went back all the way across didn't skip any here and essentially just repeated it so it's not bad you can see there's a little seam right there I'm okay with that, it's under the steering wheel, who cares? Fitment, um, it fits pretty good. There's a little soft spot right there. But other than that, there's no real serious wrinkles or anything. It fits very nicely. There's a little bit of wrinkling right there. It's livable. For like a $50 wrap, man, this thing is awesome. And I just showed you the instructions so you can get this exact same result. I just followed those three steps that I showed you, the starting, the, um, the skipping or not skipping threads, and the termination, and just go through all three sections of the steering wheel, and you can get this exact same result. Okay, let me show you the back of the steering wheel too. You can see there's a few wrinkles. Sorry for the leaves falling, it's fall. Um, and I'm outside and it feels good but you can see the back this it's a pretty tight fitment there's not too many wrinkles in the back of the wheel everything just works love it all right let's mount this thing in the car The steering wheel is in. It looks great. Um, there's some things that annoy me, like these little flaps. I might just get the uh, tape and tape those down. But other than that, other than that, she looks great. Love it. It's no longer a school bus. Okay, it's been several weeks since I've had this steering wheel wrap installed. And it wears very nicely. There is no wear. That's the beautiful part. I mean, my hands usually touch the perforated part here. And you can see it's still fairly clean. I haven't even cleaned it. And my hands are greasy a lot because I work on cars and stuff. But other than that, there is no unthreading of the wheel. The M-stitch. Still looks beautiful. This is a really good investment for your E46 or your M5 or your other BMW. Or even if you just want to buy the steering wheel wrap for another vehicle. Awesome investment. So, if you guys like this video, if you want to see some more videos like it, click that like button. Hit that subscribe button for future content. And I'll see y'all in the next video.